been here before the airbase, which I think opened in 1939? Mm. Yeah. What well, could it, possibly have been here, Miriam? Well, it was um, before when the, when the base was built. Uh, we know that there were cottages here, and they were bulldozed when the base was built. Before, but before in the land, we have evidence for. Um, we know there was Saxon lords owning East Raynham before. The, and then the Normans here. We know that the land belonged to um, the Bee Gods first. The, the the sheriff of Nottingham was granted the land after um, the Nor. Um, the Normans and, came in, yeah, yeah. And, and, um, and then we've got evidence for medieval um, uh, archaeology around here, we've got Roman, we've got Bronze Age, we've got Neolithic, Iron Age, you know, we've got a whole wealth. And of course of throughout that time human emotions remain pretty much the same, both good and evil, so there's all likelihood at some stage murder was committed in this area. Well, where you, as, as Miriam was just saying, in terms of land ownership, where you own land and own everything in it, even the birds flying overhead, you're always going to have a conflict between the have and the have-nots. So it's, the land is continually evolving. Yeah. Money, power, they breed conflict. Of course, the other thing that we return to again and again and again is the influence of war upon that landscape. Yeah. And the changes to, in attitude to warfare, and the way warfare changes over time as well, um, related to the base here. Yeah, I mean, we were just talking about... Um, how you know air warfare you know up until the 30s after the first world war there was still that kind of dilemma the moral dilemma about air warfare and the mass casualties that would occur and then in the 30s you had the unrest in europe and then you this seems to be a way forward with air warfare and you start getting these bases the expansion area bases being built and they're built really beautifully in this neo-Georgian style. And, this and then there are 30 world plus bases. This was yeah. Yeah. Fortress Britain and, here, wasn't it? Yeah. Really? That's uh, right. And, and a comparatively late yeah. development that actually the rearmament call, you know, if it hadn't have been for Churchill and the Labour opposition backing that, we'd have been in a terrible position in May 1940 when we were having to throw squadrons back from Europe and the, the type of aircraft here, the Blenheims, the Bowfighters, really were pretty, pretty new technology but not very good as medium bombers and it was only when they got the Mosquitoes at the very end of the war we actually had a really effective strike force here. Thank you both for the moment. Let's find out what you are discovering at home. Let's go to Julian Clegg and Interactive. Julian. Thanks, Paul. More great messages coming through. This is good. Phil from Manchester, who's a, a serving RAF officer, says, just a bit of advice for the team. When you're in the sergeant or officer's mess, you should be ultra polite, as you must realise there's a rank structure and there are always ways you have to behave in a certain way. These spirits will see you as civvies or outsiders, so if you want the spirits to interact with you, you've got to use rank. There's an idea. Now, if you want to get in touch, this is how it works. You uh, text... Uh, the word screen, then a space, and then your message to 80889. The text costs 50p plus one standard rate message. And uh, don't forget to say who you are and where you're from. And, of course, uh, your job as well might be appropriate. And, uh, of course, you must be over 18 to get in touch. Uh, I'll just leave you with these uh, quick thoughts. Uh, Martin from Barry says, My wife's grandfather was based at West Raynham during the war. I myself come from Kings Lynn, and I know that it has a haunted background. The squash courts have been known to have sounds of aircraft in them, which I witnessed in the past whilst working as a security guard there. Good story, Martin. Thank you very much indeed for that. More like that later on the show from Interactive for the moment. Thank you. Paul, back to you. Thank you, Julia. Most Haunted Live, The Silent Town continues after this. before this building was built yeah. and there's been here for years and years and years and that's what's making these this yeah. noises yeah. and the yes. I honestly truly believe there's something really negative here
Welcome back to RAF West Raynham in Norfolk on a very cold, windy night. The thaw may have begun outside. It's very chilly indeed here inside this giant aircraft hangar where our fantastic studio audience are located and even colder, I would imagine, in the sergeant's mess where Yvette Fielding and the team have set up for a seance and it may already even be in progress. Let's get straight back there now. Thank you very much. Uh, right, we have come upstairs. You don't realise how big this building is. And we just walked across um, sort of the other side of the building and there's this huge, huge room. Absolutely enormous. You could play a game of cricket in here. Um, and it would have been the games room and behind you.